What up, YouTube? Today I'm back with a high quality video. Scott said I should step up my game and not film my iPhone, so here I am. Some of you guys said it in the comments too. My audio was terrible in my last video on a note because I recorded my iPhone, but I just wanted to put out a video for you guys, even though I'm super busy working with Dina. Da -da 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 -da. But hey, I'm here. Today it's a cool video because I want to show you guys how to properly auto tune vocals inside of FL Studio. A lot of you guys keep asking questions on how to auto tune vocals, what's the auto tune settings for Dina, da 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 da. So today I'm going to show you a Dina song and then I'm going to load up the dry stems into FL Studio and just show you guys how I use FL Studio and Autotune. So my friends at FL Studio sent me an email last week saying they're doing a crazy campaign together with Antares, which is the company that makes Autotune, which is super fire because I've been wanting to make a video on Autotune and FL Studio for a long time. A lot of you guys have been asking questions about how, how to find the key, what's the proper settings, da, da, da. This is definitely more of a beginner video, but it's cool because Antares and FL Studio are doing this FL Studio and Friends collab where they're offering three versions of Autotune at a lower price than has ever been available anywhere else. So they're doing a discount for the autotune access the autotune efx and the autotune pro x you can find all the information on this special action in the link in the description below i believe they're doing it from august 20 to september so if you want to get autotune right now at its lowest price it's ever been available anywhere go to the link in the description below and just tell them i sent you because i did put you guys on just now Okay, so let me jump into the first song here. I loaded up two songs. I'm gonna be doing a Dina song. I'm gonna be doing a song popular. We released it with uh, Noe VDV. I think like four months ago. I really love the song Beat Super Hard Shout Out Noe. And I've loaded up the dry vocals into this FL Studio project. You can see here's the main vocal, some stacks the verse and some ad libs pretty basic project what i always do when i mix is just in fl studio at least is i want to have these playlist channels aligned with the mixer track so i'll manually link them all which is kind of a process but at least we have the option right now to make mixing a little bit easier so what you do is go to uh, the right click the track go to the track mode audio track and then link it to a mixer channel so then it's linked and then we do that with every track and then we'll probably have to rename the tracks a little bit but it's okay Okay, be back with you guys when I've done this. Alright, so I linked all of the playlist channels to a mixer channel track. So now these vertical lines and horizontal lines are aligned so I can have a good overview of what I'm doing. What I want to be doing right now is definitely um, link all of the vocals to its main vocal bus. I'm going to do that right now by selecting all of these channels. Uh, command, Option, Shift, I guess. Select one more channel, right click it, track writing, right select to this track only. So now all of these tracks are going to this vocal bus. On there, I'm gonna load up my Dina preset. If you wanna see this full effects chain, just check the previous video I did. I shared the whole chain on there. So this is basically what's on there. Today we're focusing on the autotune part of it. On this vocal bus, there's compression, EQ, da da da, but there's no autotune on there. And then I apply the autotune on the individual tracks because you need the autotune to hit every layer by itself and not have multiple layers of vocals hit one same autotune so you need it separate or it's gonna be glitching i'm gonna give this a little reverb as a send from this vocal buzz Dina is gonna roast me if I play this for too long. <laughs> so let's treat the first vocal. So as I said, again, really important. You can only have one vocal stem be lined to one auto tune. If you have multiple vocals hit the same auto tune plugin, it will mess it up. So make sure that every vocal is hitting. There's only one vocal at a time hitting a certain auto tune plugin. Really important. First thing we're gonna do is load up the auto tune on this channel. I personally like to use the Auto Tune Pro. And a little tip from when you're recording: if you're recording somebody with auto tune on the on the track while he or she is recording use this go to settings and use this low la latency mode so it will have low latency when you're recording this is really important because i used to not use autotune because i didn't know about this which is me being stupid and i only found out about this like a year ago so shout out to antares for having low latency so first thing you want to do is select the key an autotune like if you're a beginner an autotune will auto tune your vocal to the key of the song there's multiple ways to find the key of the song antares made a pretty cool piece of software called auto key which will just detect the key i'll be doing it the old school way so i just be listening what i'll be doing is just i pull up the fl keys like just a piano and i just listen for what the root note of the song is so for example if you play this if you just play the beat so this would be probably f sharp minor or c sharp minor and then i'll probably listen um, so let me check. I think it's F sharp minor. So let's see. It's like the key F sharp minor. 
I cannot wait if you keep going back and forth all night. I cannot wait if it is F sharp minor. There's a couple of options if you use the Autotune Pro. There's the input type, which is like the type of voice, so to speak. But basically what it's doing is choosing a range to decide from where to retune from. So I feel like if you use low male, you can pretty much use low male on every single voice. But then if it doesn't sound right for some reason, or if there's a lot of bassy information in a vocal that's more of a female vocal, for example, then I would go to switch to different modes. But if you're recording any general rapper, just go for low male. And then if you're recording female, maybe alternate. Like it doesn't really, really matter. Just, just listen. Like the most important thing is just to listen to everything. Then there's the retune speed. Uh, speed. There's flex tune. There's humanized. There's natural vib uh, vib vibrato. How do I pronounce that in English? Though vibrato is what I'm gonna guess for this video. The most important thing for me is the retune speed. I mean, for every auto tune, is the retune speed. Like zero will be fast, and then 400 will be slow. But basically, there's no auto tune. So what I always do is turn it up and then turn it back down. I cannot so I just wait. listen. For if you keep going back and forth all night I cannot wait if you won't and you just move it back and as soon as you start to notice some notes being off then you just stop there i like the 12 13 vibe i usually go for 12 with dino but that's just besides the point you just gotta listen for it i cannot wait if you keep going back and forth all night i cannot wait if you won't keep sounds pretty good i like it then there's the humanized function which i sometimes use which i feel like reduces the amount of clicks that it does it like makes it more like less robotic so that's basically what humanized does then there's also two different modes there's classic and there's foreman don't ask me i'm not a fucking actual mixing engineer i mean mixing but i'm not an actual engineer so don't explain me the technical like i don't know what the technical term format means i just know how it sounds and i can let you hear how it sounds so you can actually increase or decrease the throat size which will make the vocal sound higher or lower without changing the pitch i cannot wait if you keep going back and forth or not i cannot wait if you will keep on going left or not so to get creative, you could automate this or you could turn it down like slightly to create a, a heavier vocal I cannot wait if you keep going. or to create like a little higher effect. I cannot wait if you keep going back and forth. But usually I don't really touch this, you know, this is like, and that's basically how I would personally use the autotune on the main vocal. So I'm now going to just do that on every vocal that I feel like needs it. So that's pretty much all the layers with uh, autotune and see how it sounds already together. It's crazy. Okay. okay. Okay, yeah. work it back it off my way. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I cannot even care about a jit. Yeah, okay. Another cool plugin, just a side note, another cool plugin that Antares has is the Avox Choir. It turns one vocal into like a choir vocal, uh, but it, it actually sounds legit. You put it after the autotune, you could choose between 4, 8, and 16 and 32 voices. Let's say we do 16, reduce the timing a little bit, and then. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, it's crazy. Like, if you took this in the back, it's actually like. Uh, yeah. Like, see, if I add a little bit of reverb on there, it would sound crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, a little sauce on the side, shout out on tire. So here's the verse. The verse will also need autotune, but it will probably need less autotune because it's more of a rappy type of verse. I'll probably do the same key, but then probably put it on like 20 or I flip that script. Oh, hold on, hold on. I count my verse. I feel like I should need it more, so sometimes it just be whatever it needs, really. So yeah, that's basically what I do for a Dina song. On the backings, if you want to do something crazy, like I just showed you guys, you could do some crazy shit with the foreman, for example. Where are we going? Say I wanted to create like a special effect, I could just tweak this, then go to tools, last tweak, create automation clip, and then increase, and then automate the throat length of this clip. For example, make it like go real fast between these two. I don't know, I'm just like giving an example. Where are we going? I'm you know saying you can do some crazy, crazy stuff with it. But yeah, sit like that. You can do with the autotune. It's crazy. I hope you guys learned something from this video. With autotune and as with anything else in mixing, it's just like it's really important to just listen. Because with autotune, a really important tip I can give you guys is turn it up, but then also don't forget to turn it down. Because even me, I'll be recording somebody real quick and I'll turn up the autotune and then get used to hearing the voice like that. While it actually sounds way too robotic and it would actually sound way more natural if you just pull down the autotune a little bit. Thank you, Dina, 
Pfeiffer are always reminding me. This is me reminding you guys, like modern vocals need autotune. Every song doesn't need to be robotic. Like an autotune setting that's like 20 could do miracles already. Like it depends what you're going for. And then you can get super creative with it. So you can do whatever you want. There's no rules. Just put it in the right key or do some future shit and intentionally put it in the wrong key, which is crazy. Whereas like if a vocalist on Flowers, uh, the new song by Dina that should be out in, in, in like right now while, while this video is live, there is a part. So if you know the song, there's a part where she goes, no, it started rocking there to put it in the past now. That sentence is in a different key than all of the other lines in that track because the way she sang the notes, it's like, it's in the key, but it's also not. I don't know how to technically name it. I'll be just a feeling person, but there are situations in which a singer will sing a note or a set of notes that is outside of the key it was in, but still fits. And then it won't be a classic minor or major key. It will probably be some kind of weird key that I don't know, but then sometimes for that specific layer, I will put the autotune in a different key for that specific layer if that's what it needs. So, hey, I hope you guys uh, learned something. Be sure if you don't have autotune, it is the most essential plugins for recording modern day hip hop or any type of vocals. Get it. Use this discount. Link in the description below. Like, this is a crazy ass offer. As was said before, this is the lowest price ever offered anywhere for Autotune Pro X. So, don't miss out. And don't not thank me for putting you guys on. I hope you enjoyed. I love you so much. Follow my Instagram. Follow Dina. Much love. Back soon with a lot more videos. I'm back. On, I'm. I'm back here. And get my drum kit.